hello hello everybody i know i know i've been away for too long i've been ill and i've had a fall and quite a small accident and i couldn't uh, be on my feet for too long the problem is after a doctor's checkup and everything they told me my kidneys are not that good and my i have a fatty liver i'm not a person that consumes meats a lot like probably twice a week mostly i eat other things than meats i don't know what's going on well i do actually because i did notice that i've been having too much sugar and i have to stay away from the sugar and all those stuff that's one of the reasons why i haven't been uploading because after all that i was a little bit down and everything and i don't like to make videos when i'm down sorry i rather upload videos when i'm feeling good and i feel well or well not well but at least i'm feeling better there's many things and that i cannot consume to help my kidneys not get worse i have been reading and everything about stay away from oxalates vegetables stuff like that leafy greens dark leafy greens i have to stay away oh my goodness i just don't want to think about it it's just kind of crazy to think about it anyways too much to chat let's do this recipe i'm going to be doing another recipe with lentils but that will be the next video i'm going to be making uh small patties of leftover lentils so if you have leftover lentils this is what i do so i have a cup of uh, large oats and i just stick it in the blender then just uh grind it up into flour okay all right so i grind it up and i have here leftover lentils that i put in my container i don't know about you guys but i love lentils i love beans so basically that's like one cup and a half kind of guessing here what we need is to kind of uh press it a little bit since this is cold oh my she's making a mess please bear with me i know there's times i take too long and now with all this in my head i have to watch what i eat yeah so it's gonna be a little difficult for me to be uploading any recipes i would like to upload these lentils already have uh salt i'm going to add the flour I think I should have used a bigger bowl. She always does that. I know. We're going to mix all of this up. Next, I'm going to add some cilantro. You add as much as you want. And now you're going to mix it very well. All right, so you grab a bowl with some water and wet your hands really well, like so. And then just grab some dough and then just make, just flatten them. Once you grab a spoon, just flatten them. And then um, you put it on your frying pan, right one side and just keep on going. Pick it into a ball, kind of shape it a bit and then just squeeze down squeeze your your palms if you want them chubby make them chubby if you want them thick you make them thick okay and then it goes in the pan and that's what i'm going to do for all of them all right so they are ready seven came out of the amount that i had i had seven so two are missing so that's how good they are my son loves it and my mother-in-law likes it simple as that you you uh, can make some little patties of lentils if you have uh, leftover lentils or you can just cook some lentils with some salt some you know spices and then use those lentils but without the liquid that you boil it so you have to discard the water and just use only the lentils alone and then squish them a bit and the same process basically that's it it's so easy so simple and tasty as well and as you see they come out beautifully if the the dough is a bit dry just add a couple tablespoons of water that's all and it will be manageable why i say that because see the this one is kind of cracking a little but not that much it's just crack on the top so if the dough is too dry like i said add a couple tablespoons of water and that's it simple if you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Share, share, share my videos and hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.